What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion quick tutorial for you. So in today's video I wanted to talk about how to randomize the size and rotation of objects that have already been placed inside of Lumion. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So a lot of you probably already know that Lumion has um, a pretty decent suite of tools for placing objects um, kind of randomly because one of the strengths of the software is really adding trees and other things like that that are kind of random and organic in nature. Um, but it also has another set of tools that I think a lot of people don't really know about. So let's go ahead and just dive into this thing. I'll talk about um, um, how to use this. So to start off, we're going to go, this is in Lumion 9. So your menus may look a little bit different than mine. Um, I think these tools were contained in 8 as well, but I think they were put somewhere else. But what I want to do first is this is my model from my uh, SketchUp start to finish uh, series that I did. And in this case, what I want to do is I want to place some trees. So we're going to go into place mode. Um, in the objects mode so we're gonna in this case select nature we're gonna click on the button for place mode that's gonna bring up our tree nature library so that allows us to add in all of these different trees and different things like that so you can put them point by point if you wanted to um, or you could also come in here and what I'm gonna do instead is what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use the mass placement tool in order to kind of randomly place some trees along a line over here. If you remember, the mass placement tool allows you to randomly add in different objects. And so I had this set up with some grass. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And if you remember, this allows you to randomize the number of things that are placed along here. And you can add different kinds of trees and other vegetation into this. So like, for example, if I was to click on this Alaska cedar right here, and then click the plus button, then this would randomly add some of those uh, Alaska cedars in there. So I'm going to add a smaller one in here as well. And we're just going to kind of randomize the number. So I'm going to run this number up as well as we're going to randomize the offset of our line. And what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to run this right up to the edge of my grass that's behind my building. You can see I can adjust the number of items in here. So that allows us to get kind of a random um, nature-like look. And so if you've ever done this before, you know that um, you, can, you can randomize the direction as well as the spacing in here. So the further to the right this goes, the more random those two things are gonna be. Um, but this doesn't allow you to randomize the scale of these objects, meaning you can't adjust the size of them using the mass placement tool. Um, so that, that can be a little bit problematic if you don't necessarily like the size or the way that these objects came out. You can't really look at different options um, with this tool. But if I click on this button right here for confir confirm and return to build mode, what I can do is I can use the select tool to select one of these objects. When you select one of these objects, you're going to get this little menu bar that shows up. There's a couple different sliders in here for being able to adjust the way that the different trees look. So you can adjust the colors and things like that. But what, what's also in here is this little arrow. If you click on this little arrow, this is going to say show advanced options. That's going to give you a number of different options that you can use for selecting and adjusting these objects. So in this case, let's say I have this tree selected. You can see how there are actually sections in here for focus on selection, find selected in library, select all identical objects, and select all objects in category. And so we're gonna focus on select all objects in category because what we have here is we have a bunch of trees. And so if you remember, trees are all in this nature category and specifically they're in here as trees. So if I was to come in here and select the button for select all objects in category, you can see how that actually, all of these trees in here now show up as blue, meaning they're all selected. So you can actually come in here and you can select either all of the trees or if you have like this big Alaska cedar, and I'm gonna deselect everything. If you wanted to just select the Alaska cedars, you could just click the button for select all identical objects. You can see how now just the Alaska cedar objects are selected. So this allows you to select, this gives you a lot more power in the way that you can select things in Lumion. And what I wanna focus on now is this uh, series of options right here, the randomize options. And I don't necessarily wanna to mess too much. And so what these options do is they let you randomize aspects of the objects you have selected. So there's the position, the rotation, and the size. And so like for example, if I was to click randomize position, you can see how this would take all of these and it would randomize where they're sitting in this space. And I don't necessarily wanna do that, 
so I'm going to undo that because these are already placed kind of at the edge of my model. I don't necessarily want to start randomizing where those are placed. I like where they're placed, but I do want to make some adjustments to their size and rotation. And so in order to do that, all I have to do is I can randomize the rotation of these objects by clicking on randomize location or rotation. So you can see how what that's doing is that's randomizing the direction these trees are facing inside of Lumion. And the one I'm really excited about is the randomize size. So you can see how when I click on randomize size, what that's going to do is that's going to go in here and that's going to randomly change the size of your trees. So like for example, if you had a super big tree that was right here that you didn't really want, um, or if these just didn't look the way that you wanted them to, you can go through and you can randomize the size of those trees as many times as you want to until you get the look that you're going for. So you can see how right here this gives me a pretty good look for my trees. And so this can be really powerful um, if for whatever reason your trees come in here looking a little bit too uniform, you can just kind of mess around at the randomized size until you get the, until this looks the way that you want it to look. And so this can be valuable for other things as well. Like for example, underneath my uh, porch here, I had a whole bunch of different rocks. Well, if I select one of these rocks and then I go in and I select all the objects in the category, I can also randomize the rotation and the size of these rocks down here. So you can see how I can click through and I can adjust these until I get a look that I really like. So this tool can be really valuable for getting that kind of random organic look inside your models. Um, that really makes them look a lot more realistic. This is one of the things that really makes Lumion um, a very powerful tool, especially for nature and exterior renderings. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Did you know about this? Have you been using the random size tools in Lumion? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you liked this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.